I think that, I think that uh, they go further than the archetypes. This man, for instance, is Antonio, is a mm -hmm. man who lives in the street, but for me is a kind of hero of literature. It's a mind of another period, it's a mind from the 19th century. It, for me, is more closer to Victor Hugo mm -hmm. eh, than uh, a vagabond. It's so elegant. Uh, this story, for instance, Juan mm. is a man who is a drinker. He drinks very much. The middle? Yes. On the, once he knocks at my door, he says, Hey, you made a portrait of Ellie on Michel and you don't want to make my portrait. Why? I am so ugly. So I decided, and I realized that behind all the story of Juan, there is so sensitivity and humanity. Mm. Mm -hmm. And that's why I did the need to make his portrait. And uh, I show him and he say, Okay. Will show you your portrait. Do you, would you see your work as having a um, humanitarian or political intention? I Do think you want people to? Is it a call to action for people there in is some a, way? In all uh, photography, in all action of a photographer and artist, there is a presupposition, of course, yeah. that not only this, not only this. I think that I'm looking for the spirituality of the people. But at the same time, when you decided to show one group. Uh, in a certain part, you are telling something to your contemporary people, fellows. Eh? Mm. For instance, the three people you see in the entrance, mm. Constantina, Petro, and Christophe, they are from uh, people that we see all those days in Madrid looking for work. They are from the Balkans, mm -hmm. and they are um, people with no documentation. So for me, it's part, but it's part of the story, that's not only the story. That's part of my message, but I think that there is many things because Christophe, Petro and Constantina are much more than people who have no papers. They are, they are from gypsy roots, they are poetry. Christophe is kind of an aristocrat, he's a man with a lot of past. He has been and is still someone. It's very, very important, you know. That's not only because you go each day to the nuns to ask for a soup that you do not exist. You have many things to say. Uh, that I made the first in Paris, in the surroundings of the city. People from any uh, provenance, any, mm -hmm. they can come from uh, France or maybe some from Algeria and Russia. Are people that I found uh, through my uh, promenade in the mm -hmm. city. Mm -hmm. And then in this room, this is the last work because I was living in Sevilla last year oh. and I lived in a gypsy community. I was invited little by little to share with all those people. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. And it has been for me a wonderful and poetic and very human. And uh, because I met her in a concert, she's a musician, and I find that she was like in so sensual, sensual, mm. and at the same time so different because of her blindness, mm. her appearance, and uh, mostly because I saw her playing the piano, and she was like in kind of uh, ecstasy of grace and I find this girl so spiritual that I decided to make her portrait.